Hello there everyone, my name's Luke and welcome to my channel. So tonight is actually going to be the end of capture for a target that I've been shooting for the past few nights. Um, I've had some decent weather again, which has been extremely odd, but the target I've been shooting is the Needle Galaxy. Um, we're actually forecast a few more clear nights in a row, um, but I can't really make use of them on this target as I need to shoot in broadband as it's a galaxy target and the influence of the moon is just growing to be too much to deal with. I can see night on night the extra influence that uh, the moon's growing illumination uh, is having on my sub exposures. So I think tonight's going to be the last night of capture on it uh, and with any luck I should be able to take it up to a neat 10-ish uh, hours or so which should give me a decent chance at making a very pleasant final image um, of this target. So I'm going to be shooting tonight with my usual setup which is the 2600MC Pro one shot colour cooled camera uh, coupled up with my Esprit 120. I'm hoping that it's going to be a nice uh, level of magnification for this target as it's not a particularly large galaxy in apparent size to us um, but I'm thinking it should be quite enough looking at the exposures that have been coming in. Later on tonight, however, I'm going to switch to using the L Extreme filter uh, and start probably recording for another video that I'm planning on. Um, I know I mentioned earlier there's some more clear nights coming and I want to make the absolute most of those um, while the moon's rising and getting stronger uh, as it has less effect altogether on the L Extreme subs than it does on a broadband sub exposure. Well, we've just reached about 10 p.m. now. Uh, I've performed an autofocus now that it's cooled down and reached thermal equilibrium. Uh, hopefully that should hold for a while, but I'll be keeping an eye on it. I've actually decided to get started imaging now rather than waiting for full darkness because between the position of my target and the position of the moon, I'm not actually sure the sky is going to get that much darker in that area of, uh, area of the sky, for want of a better explanation. Um, so I just figured that the extra time I could get now rather than waiting uh, is probably going to outweigh any potential benefits of waiting for that slightly darker sky if it did indeed uh, manifest. Well, with another hour of data in the bag, uh, perhaps another hour to go tonight, I think, before I move away from this target and uh, kind of leave it for the rest of the year now, um, I thought I'd offer you some thoughts on how capture's been over the past few nights. So, I have been really lucky in that these nights have kind of gone uh, almost in sequence. I only had to skip one night in between, and uh, it's been interesting to see how the moon's influence on sub-exposures um, has worked basically so I know that on the earlier nights where there was very little moon just particularly thin crescent um, the background values on uh, my frames which is measured in kind of ADU uh, it was showing up as around about 3000 on uh, astrophotography tool and then now it's been growing kind of night by night and tonight uh, we're up in about 4700 ADU so a, a huge chunk uh, of background brightness increase and I think if we continued capturing data perhaps throughout the rest of these next upcoming clear nights um, I could potentially actually end up doing damage to the stack rather than increasing the uh, the signal because when you add uh, data that's of lower quality it does kind of bring down the whole value of the stack uh, so you got to know when to call it quits really I would say <laughs> And I think tonight, that's about it for this. Um, as a final thought, I guess, on 
Galaxy season. Uh, I would say that it's gone extremely well this year. I've been really so productive. Um, perhaps my best Galaxy season to date, I would say. And part of that's got to be attributed, I guess, to how good this uh, this system's been. It's uh, just basically been no problems whatsoever, and it just kind of clicks clicks away night after night um, without any complaint. And that's really all you could possibly hope for. Uh, in this hobby. Couple that with some really strange weather the past month or so and uh, it's been kind of a perfect storm of imaging conditions and I've really enjoyed it. I've got a lot done and I kind of hope that this good luck that we've had with the weather is going to hold into summer and uh, perhaps I'll have a rather productive nebula season too, I hope. Um, I would say that galaxies Overall, I'm a favourite target because they kind of inspire more in your imagination, wondering what is out there, perhaps looking back, maybe imaging you at the same time. Um, but nebula certainly have their own appeal. Uh, I know they're much closer targets as most of the nebula that you uh, that you can visit and view, indeed, uh, are all part of our own Milky Way. Um, but still. The upside of that is they're so close that they're often very bright and quite easy to capture and uh, especially in my situation here with a lot of light pollution it's often nice to have a nice bright target that you can use a, a narrowband filter on because it kind of nullifies a lot of this light pollution and makes your time spent under the stars that much more productive. So uh, I think I'm going to give it like I said about another hour now and then I'll switch away and uh, probably cease recording for the night and uh, start capture on another target that I hope to bring you soon. Uh, I'll keep that under wraps for now. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's going to be a good one and uh, it's going to be quite well positioned. All I'll say is it's in sickness. Um, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. Well guys, with that, that's the last exposure I'm capturing now on uh, the Needle Galaxy. In total, I ended up capturing around about 11 hours of exposure, which was a little bit more than I'd planned on, but that's totally fine. Um, I think I should be able to present you with a nice image of this target at the end. I haven't really had much of a look at the data, but um, at least you can see the target per sub, uh, and you know that you're capturing some decent data when you do that. Um, I think this is probably kind of the end of Galaxy season for me, a bit of a farewell to it if you will, and uh, I look forward to trying again next year, maybe some of the same targets and maybe some others that are new. Um, but yeah, I think everything that I actually wanted to do image this year, I've basically gone and done, and uh, at least with this increasing moon at this time of year, uh, by the time it's next new moon cycle, I'll probably be wanting to mainly focus on Cygnus and uh, the rising Milky Way in that region of the sky. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I've certainly enjoyed making it. That's uh, that's a given. I love uh, I love interacting with you guys. Like I've mentioned, it's just fantastic chatting away in the comments and uh, seeing what you've all been getting up to. So uh, please keep that work up. It's been fantastic. And um, yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Close guys.